Hi, this is Carmen with the Singer Featherweight Shop in April 1930s. Today I want to talk to you about the lower thread guide on the needle clamp itself for the Singer Featherweight. We're basically going to be talking about how to reinstall uh, that thread guide as for whatever reason they seem to get, uh, we get a lot of requests for uh, replacements here in the shop. And so I, I wanted to explain how to uh, reinstall that, that thread guide but also to point out that there are some differences in the different styles of thread guides, um, the lower thread guide on the featherweight. And here's, here's some examples here. These are all original, um, but this thread guide, the lower thread guide here, goes uh, back into the right, back towards the, the clamp screw itself, and it also has a little piece that sticks out on the other side, back there in the back. So that's a style. The most common one for most machines that you're going to see is this one that actually goes to the left and it's really easy to use, uh, really easy to thread. And then this other style here that also goes back into the right, but that's the only piece there is on it. So here's some examples of some styles of thread guides. They are original ones and uh, your machine may have uh, one of these types on there. Okay, these are the different pieces of the needle clamp itself. You have the, the clamp, the body of the clamp, the main screw that holds the needle in. This is the screw that you would tighten and loosen every time you're replacing your needle. The set screw here, the set screw has a little button on the end of it, you can see there. And that button goes in that hole right there on the needle bar itself. And that's what keeps everything uh, straight in line and keeps your needle always properly oriented on the machine. And then here is the thread guide itself. Now the barrel of this thread guide must go into this hole that's inside the needle clamp itself. And so this barrel goes in that hole and back and towards this screw. Okay, now that the thread guide is inside the needle clamp, you can go ahead and slide it onto the needle bar. And once it gets on the needle bar, you can tighten this main screw down most of the way, but not all, not completely tight. But just tight enough that it doesn't now no longer falls off the end. And at that point in time, then we can put the set screw in the end of the of the needle clamp itself and onto the needle bar. But this right here is not reality because this was done while this is off the machine. So now we're going to do this on a machine and see how to do it. Uh, like that. Okay, so we now have the thread guide inserted into the needle clamp and we're ready to put it onto, onto the needle bar. This is where the problem usually begins. As soon as we try to insert this on the needle bar, the thread guide usually falls out. And fortunately, there's a couple things you can do that remedy this easily. I have a, about a two inch thick block of styrofoam, but you could use a phone book or anything to tip the machine up. Your, when your machine is at a different angle, now the thread guide is not going to want to fall out like before. So we've reinserted the thread guide into the needle clamp. If you put your finger on the bottom of it, and slide it up, it should go on, needle, the thread guide will not fall off. And then again, you can tighten this down, not completely tight, but enough that it now no longer will fall off the machine. Okay, once the needle clamp is securely onto the needle bar, you can tighten down the set screw. Now everything will be correctly aligned and in position. And you're ready to put a needle back in and start sewing. Just remember, with a featherweight, flat side of the needle always goes to the left. Thank you for watching our video tutorial. I hope it was very helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can contact us through our website at www.singer-featherweight.com or april1930s.com. You can also chat and interact with us and other featherweight owners on our Facebook group. This can be found by doing a search on Facebook for Singer Featherweight 221 and 222 sewing machines.